and good day. This is the news cycle on My Color TV, streaming on social media to your device. Thanks for joining us. I am John Edu, and these are the stories making headlines today, both local and globally. President Buhari approves 10 billion naira for the rehabilitation of a Canadian international airport. NDDC to undergo forensic audit. Organized labor, federal government reach agreement on minimum wage. In business, town sterling crashes over Brexit deal. And in sports, American boxer Patrick Day dies at 27. Now the news in full. President Muhammad Buhari has approved 10 billion naira for the takeoff of the rehabilitation and expansion of Akanubiam International Airport in Nugu. The president said he had been assured by the Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika, that the project will be efficiently executed. President Muhammad Buhari has ordered a forensic audit of the Niger Delta Development Commission from 2001 to 2019. The order follows various persistent criticisms of the operations of NDDC. Receiving governors of the states that make up the commission, led by Governor Sereke Dixon of Bayelsa State on Thursday in Abuja, President Buhari said what is presently on the ground in the South South region does not justify the huge resources that have been made available to the organization. Meanwhile, the federal government and the organized labor on Thursday finally agreed on the percentage increase on the consequential adjustment in worker salaries as a result of the new national minimum wage of 30,000 naira. The Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Festus Keyamo, tweeted from the venue of the meeting that both parties had reached an agreement. The meeting, however, ended in the early hours of Friday morning. Troops of the Nigerian Army on Operation Thunder Strike said they have killed one armed bandit suspected to be a kidnapper on Kaduna Abuja Highway. The troops in the operation also rescued three villagers abducted from their farms on Wednesday in Maro village along the highway. Deputy Director, Army Public Relations, 1 Division, Nigeria Army, Kaduna, Colonel Ezindu Idima, disclosed this on Friday in Kaduna. Sadly, there has been a fire outbreak at Omaba along Enugu Onicha Expressway. Earlier in the week, there was a fire incident at Ochanja Market following the fall of a petroleum tanker. Scores of lives and properties were lost in the unfortunate incident. Let's take a break for business and global stories. Yeah, I'm killing them, yeah. Because I swear to God, if I go kill them, yeah. Bra, 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 we go be with them like that. Oh, God, I'm gonna make a no, be a belly jack. Welcome back. The pound sterling fell on Friday as investors fret over Boris Johnson's chances of pushing his Brexit deal through Parliament. Asian markets were also down after data showed China's economy expanded at its slowest pace in nearly three decades. Forex traders sold sterling, pushing it back down below $1.29 and extended losses in Asia. And on the global scene, Mexican security forces on Thursday arrested one son of jail drug kingpin, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, in an operation that triggered intense fighting. Heavy gunfire rocked Culican in sustained clashes that sent terrified residents running for cover. Security Minister Alfonso Durazo confirmed the arrest of a man who identified himself as Ovidio Guzman. One of the sons of Guzman, who assumed partial control of the notorious cartel run by their father until he was extradited to the United States in 2007. Let's take a break for sports stories.
American boxer Patrick Day died on Wednesday after suffering a serious brain injury during his knockout defeat to Charles Conwell. The 27 year old super welterweight had undergone emergency surgery after being knocked out by Conwell on Saturday at Chicago's Wind Trust Arena. Day, who had been carried unconscious from the ring on a stretcher following his 10th round knockout, had been in a coma at Northwestern Memorial Hospital until he passed away. Also in sports, Real Madrid have reportedly ended interest in Manchester United midfielder Paul Power. The French international was linked with a move to the Spanish capital throughout the summer, but terms could not be agreed, and Pogba ended up staying at Old Trafford. According to reports in Spain, Madrid coach Zinedine Zidane has seemingly lost interest in a deal and is actively looking for alternatives. And that's all the news we are currently following at the moment on News Cycle. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at MyColorTV for more breaking news as the day progresses. On behalf of the News Cycle production team, I am John Edu. Thanks for staying with us. Enjoy the rest of your day.